Yo, what's going on, Guardians? My name is Excalion, and who needs RNG whenever you have Spoils of Conquest uh, uh, maxed out in your inventory and then maxed out on all three of your Postmasters for all three of your characters? Uh, you know, you don't really need RNG. You know, you don't really need to pray to RNG Jesus whenever you have that many spoils. And, well, that's what I did this week whenever I did the Master Vog. I turned in as many as I could before we got kicked out of the Atheon encounter, and... I got some super awesome Time Loss Fate Bringers, and I mean some absolute god rolls. I have, you know, uh, an explosive kill clip roll, I have an explosive opening shot roll, I have an explosive, I, uh, uh, I have the storm roll, all with range masterworks, all built pretty well. The kill clip roll especially is built for range. It's really, really good. That being said, I haven't really been a fan of the Fatebringer in PvP for a long time. Now, I have died on the hill that my favorite hand cannon is my Adept Palindrome, and then I still think that that's the truth. Um, there's just something about a hand cannon with rangefinder on it um, that it just feels really good and works at a really long ways away. And the only other hand cannon I believe that can roll with rangefinder is Waking Vigil, which is also in the energy slot. So, you know, what, what do we do? Well, there's, you know, we have some good hand cannons in the kinetic slot. Don't get me wrong. But if we're talking about adaptive frames, there's just not, uh, but, you know, the, the Fate Bringer and the Judgment Hand Cannon to choose from. And I've got to be honest with you guys, even after all having all these time loss Fate Bringers, I love this Judgment Hand Cannon. Now, the roll I have here today is not perfect by any means. This is just a roll that I was very fortunate to pick up. Um, the site could be better. It doesn't have a good site. The magazine could be better. It definitely doesn't have a good magazine. And it's got a reload speed masterwork. I main hunter, so reload speed's not really something that I need. I would prefer a range masterwork or even maybe a handling masterwork. Either one would be great. Um, with the, uh, the the true shot sights, and then of course accurize rounds would, would be my choice, or potentially a pendant or attack mag. But, you know, I digress. I got moving target and opening shot. And let me tell you something about that. If you don't know about moving target, it's great. It enhances your aiming while you strafe speed, and it also gives you a flat buff uh, to your target acquisition, to your aim assist. And mind you, that's not something that you can see, right? And I wish Bungie would start doing this. A couple of things I wish they would do. I wish they would start giving us some numbers instead of bars, and I wish they would start uh, giving us all of the numbers um, that, that, uh, that our weapons can roll with. It's just, uh, it's not there. So a moving target does give you a flat aim assist buff, but you don't see it. So you have to rely on sights, which this does come with over barrels, so, you know, that is an option. But this one's not really min-maxed yet. So I tried today farming for another one, and I only got a couple of judgments to drop. None of them were really any good. Um, I got one to roll with opening shot, and I got run to roll with moving target, but neither of those came together. And then I got a bunch of long walks, which were nice, but I digress. This is the stickiest hand cannon I believe I've ever used in Destiny 2 to this point. Um, and whenever I say sticky, I mean like headshots. Like landing headshots with this thing is so, so, so easy. And that's important, you know. You can land your headshots. You're talking about consistent three taps. And I'm going to compare this to Not Forgotten. Not Forgotten, even after they turned it into a 150 and then into a 140, had the most like consistent three tap uh, potential of any hand cannon that existed. And this uh, this takes the cake, even more so than my palindrome. Now, I'm not going to outgun a rangefinder palindrome or even a rangefinder waking vigil or uh, a true prophecy or an igneous hammer or something like that. But I don't really need to, because what I am doing is I'm moving a lot faster to them. And with opening shot... It, you know, my shots, like, my, my, my first shots are always, like, landing, and that's that's really what's important. You want that first shot to land. If you, a lot of times, you know, if you can land the first shot in an encounter, you win the encounter most times. Now, against good players, that might not always be the case, but not everybody is, you know, a good player or a great player by any means, you know, so... I, I live and die on that hill. In this game, I got a We Rain Out of Metals. I ended up dropping 38 kills, and I'm also using a Found Verdict. And yes, I do get a lot of kills with Found Verdict. I get some kills with my Super. But this hand cannon feels so good. Like, right there. You know, there's, there's just the stickiness. I know that was a 4-tap. Don't get me wrong. But it feels so good and so consistent. And what I say is, and, and you know, maybe it's just opening shot, right? Maybe it's just opening shot doing this. Um, I've seen people say, if you have opening shot on a sniper, well, then you're going to be a better sniper. Um, 
I feel like I'm a better hand cannon user with this. And, and I'm not always the best hand cannon user. I, I prefer my pulse rifles. A lot of times I also like to uh, use scout rifles and stuff like that. But um, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm bad with a hand cannon by any means. But I, this thing just like makes me feel like I'm, I'm really good uh, with a hand cannon. And, you know, I don't know, maybe that's bad. Maybe that's, maybe that's giving me a confidence boost that I don't really need. But... I don't know. I'll let you decide. I'm just putting this video out there to say if you like Fate Bringer, if you have a moving target opening shot judgment in your vault, and I'm saying if you have any, I don't care what the role is besides moving target and opening shot. If you have one, try it out. I literally have a role with just moving target and opening shot. Everything else on this hand cannon is dookie. Um, I, I, I'm trying to imagine. It's like if you guys ever saw Frieza on the uh, Resurrection of F movie. Frieza's like, imagine how powerful I'd be if I trained. I, well, that's like me right now. I feel like imagine how powerful I'd be if this thing was actually min-maxed for range and handling, you know? Like, I feel like I would be unstoppable. But nonetheless, guys, that's it. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm just going to let the video play out uh, to get the uh, the final few kills on this map. Uh, I believe I dropped like a 12 point something uh, KDA on this. It was good. It was a good gameplay. Nonetheless, guys, right now I'm sitting at 299 subs. Please, please, please share this video. Get it out there. Uh, put it on your social media, whatever it takes. If you know people that play Destiny, I'm so close to 300. I can taste it. Y'all, we are moving. Like, we are moving along. And I think you guys like the content. Um, keep liking it. Keep, you know, keep checking it out. Subscribe. And if you can share, then please do. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and Godspeed. <laughs> oh, good shit. Good nade if that was that was that your nader is that solar? There it is. There it is. Ha, 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 ha. 